Welcome to Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grill. <laughs> you know, Merrill, this is what, yeah. and Fast Freddy on the keyboard. Yeah, fast Freddy. Fast you Freddy. know, I'm actually delighted to be here. Cherry Very delighted. delighted. <laughs> and today it is all about, by the way, uh, uh, Fred, I, I got your little bag of cherries. Did you really? Thank yeah, you yeah very this much. is mine over here. Thank you very, very much. I'll get no cherries. You'll get plenty of cherries today. All right, I know. We are we in Forestville, Wisconsin. Uh, the, 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 the south end of Door County, and it's a great destination for you and your family. Uh, and it's all about the cherries today, and that's what we're going to be doing today. Grilling up tons and tons and tons and thousands and thousands of pounds of cherries. Oh, yes. Take it away, Freddie. We'll be right back with more Mad Dog and Merle's Midwest Grilling from Country Ovens in Door County. Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grillin' is brought to you by Modern Home Products, the makers of MHP, Phoenix, and Profire Grills, All Things Jerky, Cherry Delight, Brewpub Pizza, Healthy Homegrown Wisconsin Potatoes, Lashbro Aerial Images, Sundrop Soda, The Oneida Nation, and the New Oneida Market, and by Glorious Malone's Fine Sausage. Fitting a little Neil Diamond, yeah. Cherry Cherry. Oh, yes, man. we got her rocking. You and know I'll what? tell you what, when people think of Door County, when people think of Door County, they think of Door County cherries. And that's, that's right. the original. I mean, there's a lot of great shops up here. It's a great destination. But another great destination is Forestville, Wisconsin. Our good friends at Cherry Delight Country Ovens, countryovens.com, countryovens.com. The 30th year anniversary. I know, 30 years. That's sort of hard to believe. I know, and we've known Mike. I was just born then. <laughs> Well, sort again? of. Again. <laughs> again. I was born again. It was a religious experience. Yeah, it was. Yes, it I'll was. tell you what, each and every summer, uh, you can join us at Country Ovens Fest. And it's, it's actually Cherry Delight Fest. And it's a great time. So let's throw some uh, chops you on know, the can grill. Can I do one thing, sir? Sure. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to present to you <laughs> a new hat. you got to be kidding the me. The Fast really? Look at that. Holy mackerel. It's mackle. clean. It's bright yeah. white. Wait till the next session. There you go, Freddie. Well, Congrats. Well, Chris and have a little beer oh, later. Yeah, but, yeah, there you go. Be. I can well, see I knew it felt a little different. Oh, yeah. Oh, right. What do you think? Style. Well, you're always right. stylish. <laughs> well, you know, at, uh, at Country Ovens, it's all about the cherries. It's a great <laughs> opportunity to come and do a little tasting. Come and join us here at Forestville, Wisconsin. It's right on County Trunk J. And here's some wonderful dried cherries, and that's what it's all about. The dried cherries you can find everywhere. You can actually find the different juices wherever you go, the different juices wherever you go. I can't wait to have this, that's for sure. Was that the same bag of uh, dried cherries you uh, gave me it, earlier Freddy. in the show? That's so what it. we did is we took a nice <laughs> bratwurst. Uh, Wisconsin's noted for their great bratwurst. We're going to take some wonderful dried cherries, and a lot of people want to create or have cherry bratwurst. Right, exactly. Yeah. And a lot of times they don't turn out too well. Now, no. they've got them here oh, this weekend. They've got them here the weekend of the festival, and they're wonderful. They really are. We get a chance to grill them up. But take a nice smoked sausage, slice that baby, score that baby down the center, and all you simply do is take the dried cherries and put them right inside, and you got yourself a cherry bratwurst. That's absolutely wonderful. These are a smoked sausage with a little bit of cheddar inside. So we got the dried cherries inside of there. We're gonna take some nice bacon and we're simply gonna wrap those babies up. That is amazing. Cause it we, is. You know, we've never had them this way before. And I, you have? No, never, never. Yeah, never, never. I'll be anxious to try those. I really yeah, will. Yeah, me too. And everything's better with bacon. We you know got that. Her, that's for sure. Oh, looks good. So we sir. grilled them up a little bit direct method of cooking, then we grill them indirect. So the dry cherries that are in there, everything's wrapped in bacon. Do that with your favorite smoked sausages, and you got to get Cherry Delight dried cherries because those are the key thing right there. Oh, it looks delicious. And speaking of delicious, let me show you your potato paddle. Okay, you can bring them out there for <gasps> you. This is something I really love doing on the grill. There's These so many are, different things you can do with potatoes. There really are. 
And, and, and these look delicious. Look at them babies right there. Those Holy are massive. Man. Yeah, good old potato paddles. You can't go nothing wrong with potato paddles. Yep. They're very easy to do. You just take your whole potato. We used to cut them real thin. Remember that? The old days, you wanted to cut things thin a little bit. Yeah, now we yeah. want big slabs. Yeah, now that we've made it, we can go big time. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you grill these really about oh, five to six minutes on each side is all what you have to do. Now, I marinated these in the Cherry Delight vinaigrette. It's got a little bit of oil in there. The flavor's really good. Cherry juice, good yeah. stuff. You can go ahead and marinate that maybe for oh, two to four hours. You can even do it the night before if you'd like to. Take her out there, sir. That's all what they are for. It's like getting the fish out, isn't it? Look at that. Very good. Absolutely. Now, this is very easy to do. I'm going to take Cherry Delight salsa. It's got a nice flavor to it. I'm going to top the spud, which I brown eh, four to five minutes yeah. on each side. So here's what the potatoes look like when they're at the starting point right there. Top that with a little bit of salsa. Yep. Now put it on quite heavily. Mad Dog has taught me that. I've always gone lightly. He goes, pour it on, pour it on, and he's right. Definitely right. <laughs> some cheese. I got some cherry cheese. A little Colby. I'm going to crumple this up, place this on top. Well, I'll tell you what, when you come to country ovens, you get the opportunity. When you come to country ovens, uh, you get the opportunity to do a little tasting along the way. So they got all the little snacks out there. They got the, I got some dry, uh, chocolate covered cherries for you, Freddie. Did you really? Yeah, yeah, yeah you should get dark chocolate. Out. You'll love them. You know those are my favorite. Yeah, they're in the cooler right now. They're <laughs> delicious. You got a snack on them babies. I'm going to be in the cooler, all right. And then I'm going to top it out with some black olives. I'm going to put the hood down. It'll only take about four minutes so I don't where the cheese starts to melt. And there you have it. And they're wonderful little leads. Now here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna create just a little bit of a glaze. I don't think I can do it. We're gonna come back and we're gonna do a little glaze for the bratwurst right now. I gotta get some paper towel in me. <laughs> hey, Mad Dog and Merrill's from Country Ovens, countryovens.com. Thank you there, Freddie. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> Join us each week on this station for tasty tips, tricks, and techniques. You can also view past episodes at maddogandmerrill.com. Pocus, pocus, grillorama. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you grilling magic. Grilling magic, a perfect blend of garlic and pepper and other magical ingredients. I'm Grandma Hazel. Try my secret family spice blend, passed down from generations. Steaks, fish, burgers, chicken pork, all things grilled. Grandma Hazel never rubbed you wrong. <laughs> the best in the Midwest, grilling magic, Grandma Hazel, and our own season all. Ask your grocer for Mad Dog and Merrill. Glorious Malone's Gourmet Head Cheese and Country Pâtés are Southern deliciousness. Tender pork, blended spices, and bold flavors. Superbly handcrafted fresh, without fillers, jellies, or preservatives. Glorious Malone's quality flavors have been loved throughout the Midwest for over 60 years. Enjoy it sliced on crackers, or think outside the cracker. Try it on pizza, burgers, stuffed pork, and more. Ask your grocer for Malone's. Mmm, Southern deliciousness. In order to perform at a high level, I must train hard every day. I push my body hard to the limits to gain an advantage against my competition. With a tough training schedule, my body needs the ability to recover fast. Rapid Performance products provide an all-natural recovery source. This gives my muscles the rapid recovery needed to repeat my intense training. Speed your recovery with the natural benefits of tart cherry juice and whey protein isolate. Train. Recover. Repeat. Rapid Performance products. Are you tired of the same old thing? Moo. Taste the wild side with exotic edibles from all things jerky. Check out our large selection of exotic jerky and frozen meats. Gator, kangaroo, boar, bison, elk, and more. Try before you buy with our bulk beef jerky. We carry hot sauces and supplies to make your own jerky and sausage. The perfect gift for every occasion is our mug of meat and gift boxes. Visit our stores in Eagle River, Minocqua, and Appleton and shop online at allthingsjerky.com. More than just jerky, all things jerky. Lashbro Aerial Images, a division of Lashbro Visual Communications, is a premier drone imaging company. Stunning high definition video, compelling high resolution photography. Lashbro Aerial Images is remote pilot certified and fully insured. Images for advertising, broadcast, print, online, mapping, real estate, and more. Take your vision to the next level with Lashbro Aerial Images.
Welcome back to Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest <laughs> Grilling. We are in beautiful Cherry Delight right here in Forestville, Wisconsin. And it's a beautiful day for this it's location. It's a gorgeous, it? always, the sun is always shining in Forestville. <laughs> you folks got to come and check it out. <laughs> Country Ovens, Forestville, Wisconsin. That third Saturday of July, you don't want to miss it. Always a good time, that's for darn sure. Okay, so I took a little bit of, of, of Country Ovens, Cherry Delight products are absolutely wonderful. And they got a lot of great products and they're creating new ones all the time, by the way. When you come the next time, can I say it? You may, you may get a nice little horseradish one. They got the jalapeno, and that jalapeno is my absolutely favorite. Take a gander over here. Uh, do I have the, here's a little cherry jalapeno. That's a nice, beautiful spread you can use for just about anything. The best cherry pie filling in the world. Oh, yes, it a is. A thousand and one. I got some sweet potatoes on the grill. We'll take a gander at this in a little bit, but there's like, just, I can't say hundreds because Mike's sitting over there and he'll say I'm a liar. <laughs> but there's like a hundred cherries in that pie fill and it's just absolutely wonderful. The cherry drinks and cherry juices you can find at all the grocery stores. So take a look at those country ovens. The dry cherries by the pound, the two pound or the five pound bag. You can get them all here. They also have a cherry a cherry berry nut mix that's absolutely wonderful with all kinds of different nuts and cherries from cranberries to dried cherries in there. And they have my performance pack and it's just wonderful with the soybeans and all the wonderful nuts with high protein in there and the lovely cherries. It's absolutely great. The health benefits of cherries, by the way, you have to go to countryovens.com and check out the health benefits for cherries. Phenomenal. It really, really is. So I took a little bit of the cherry delight, uh, cherry mustard, and I had a little bit of cherry syrup, and we just created a nice little glaze that we're going to mm. serve with the bratwurst that we created a little bit earlier. And I just wanted to get that out of the way and make sure I showed you good folks different things that you can create. In fact, Merrill's got some pork chops on hey, the grill. Hey, I love that pork chops. Little pork chops action. I love pork chops. People have a tendency to cook up pork chops all the time for it. The old Betty Crocker and The old Betty Farmer. Crocker. I've got some pork chops here that I've seasoned very well with our Grandma Hazel's. It's like a Montreal steak seasoning, very, very flavor, flavorful. There again, I would do this a couple hours beforehand. Really season up very well. You can even do it the night before because the seasoning will adhere to that very, and very well. And when you well. come to Country Ovens, they have the full selections of our spices and our deworks, and you got to check those out. That's too. right. So anyway, I'm going to throw these on the grill. I'm going to grill these approximately eh, five to six minutes on each side. Pork's done easily at 145 degrees. I've got some over here that I've done on the on, big green egg on over here. On the big here. green egg, right look at there. Those. Aren't those wow. look good? Oh, I'll tell you, I can't wait to devour there. Now I want to go ahead and Freddy's put the getting sauce. hungry, by the way. I can see that. Been, yeah, we can yes. kind of snip them a little bit. Yeah, I know. We've been cruel to him today, haven't we? <laughs> yes. So, would you like me to make a sauce here sure. first, sir? Sure. All right. The sauce is very easy. When you do barbecue sauces on any product, you really want to put them on at the end. A lot of people have a tendency to put on sauce too early, and it'll start to burn on them and everything. Actually, on these, I'm only going to do it like about the last five minutes on each side. So, all we've got here is I've got some Cherry Delight on their, their barbecue sauce which is excellent by itself. I love that barbecue it sauce. It is, it's got a good flavor. We yeah, use it's it all my go-to at home. It's so good nice for and mild, the cherry flavor. And then I'm gonna use a little bit of the, the mustard because I want to get a little, little tang on that. More of a southern style. You go down the Carolinas, a lot of the barbecue sauces are done with mustard. So I want to bring that up, to, up north here a little bit. But you're gonna place that on there. And you don't have to use that much. I can't wait to dig my chops. Is your chops into there? <laughs> into the chops. <laughs> He's got some chops to dig in there. I do. I'm ready. But mustard is very good. And this will blend very well with the sauce. I'm just going to brush this on both sides. Just about three to four minutes on each side, and we're done. So let's talk a little bit about brines, shall we? Uh, brines are wonderful, and you can use just about any type of products to do brines. In the old-fashioned days, we created brines to preserve cuts of meat, but now we do it to add flavor. And a lot of times when you add the, 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 the fluids to there, the liquids to there, the moisture to there, it also adds flavor at the same time. And that's exactly what I did. I actually have a nice half a chicken in here, and I'll show you the half a chicken, because I'm going to take that out of the brine, I'm going to set that on the countertop, because that's the way you we're going to present it to the grill in a minute. But let's talk a little bit about brines. Brines have either a kosher or a sea salt in them. A kosher or sea salt. And I have both examples right here. The kosher salt in my case happens to be coarse. It also comes fine grade. And the sea salt is a finer grade, but it also comes in coarse grade. And Fred, do you know what the difference between a kosher salt and a sea salt is? No, you tell me. One is blessed by the rabbi. Is it really? That's all yeah. the difference is. 
Yeah. So I could use either one on a margarita. So, 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 <laughs> so when Morton, it would be fun. So when Morton's go and they do the kosher salts, they clean up all their systems, all their all their plant material, all the machinery. They have a, 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 a from the Jewish faith, a rabbi come in and bless the factory, and then they create the products for them. And then when they're done with that, they go on with their business. And it's a wonderful thing. So that's the difference. So we need a kosher or sea salt. That actually opens up the pores and lets the moisture in. And that's what we want to do. Now our moisture today, I actually added in this little Ziploc baggie, a quarter cup of sea or kosher salt. I don't remember which I use. I think I use sea salt at home. A quarter cup of sea salt inside of there. <laughs> and then about a quart and a half of liquid. And our liquid today was wonderful. The cherry drink or cherry juice is phenomenal because it has a sweetener, yep. which I didn't add any to, except for the cherry syrup. All right. So now we added the cherry syrup and the cherry drink in there, and I added just actually a whole bottle of that, and mm. I added a little bit of cherry syrup in there. So we got the cherry drink or cherry juice from Cherry Delight, the cherry syrup in there, and then I added Italian parsley, I added some garlic and some ginger in there, and then just for the heck of it, I added some dried cherries, so it kind of <laughs> absorb into it. I am anxious to see what the hell that's And, and, and you brine, the, 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 the key with the brining, the key with the brining is to brine for several hours. Yes. For 8 to 12 hours, 12 to 12, 18 hours. And when you present it to the grill, you pat it dry. And I'll pat this dry real well. And I'm going to oil it with a little bit of our sunflower oil and season it up. And then during the break, I'm going to present it to the grill. So how the chops doing? Chops are done. We're going to take those off right now. You can look at them right here. Mm -hmm. no, let's like. take a little gander. Okay. Those look absolutely so gorgeous. So you want to put the sauce on right at the end. It doesn't have to be on there too long. Some people will sit there, keep on pouring the sauce on. Oh, you I want can the smell flavor of the here. sauce. Wow. Just absolutely delicious. Hey, we got to get, you know why we got to get going? Because I think Freddie's a little thirsty. And we got to do ourselves a ah, cherry yes. spritzer. <laughs> a cherry spritzer. And we also have some dessert to do. So you got to have cherries with dessert too. So we'll be right back with more of Mad Dog and Girls from Country Oven. Countryovens.com. Oh, yeah. As a mother, I choose healthy snacks for my children. What they eat now can have a lasting effect on their overall health. Cherry Delight dried cherries provide a healthy snack and taste delicious. Unlike sugary treats, these tasty fruit snacks are all natural and provide essential nutrients and vitamins important in growing bodies. From chocolate covered Cherry Delights to tart cherry juice, these snacks are full of nutrition. Visit us in Forceville, just 30 minutes from Green Bay, or order online at countryovens.com. Now, Merrill, you sink this pot, you win the tournament, and the coveted cooler of ice cold sundrop soda. Hello. Sun drop. Pull the pin. Locally bottled, crisp, old fashioned flavor. Sun drop. Make your summer fantasy come true. What's your summer sun drop fantasy? Hey folks, Mad Dog and Merrill, nothing better than a pile of wings and Mad Dog and Merrill's grilling sauces. You got that right, Mad Dog. I'm ready to dig into these babies. <laughs> Number one, thick and rich. I'm going for the spicy. And it's the smokehouse for me, yeah. Oh, this time I'm going for the spicy. Oh man, I got the hickory. <laughs> uh... Ask your grocer for Mad Dog and Merrill. I came in initially for um, lower neck pain and back pain, headaches. Whiplash. Migraine headaches. I have never used chiropractic here before. I was very nervous. I decided to choose a uh, back in action. Something amazing happened. Dr. Hansen has actually made some other improvements that I was not seeing him for. It wasn't actually back issues, but it was a nutritional issue. Dr. Hansen, he goes above and beyond. They're very thorough. I would highly recommend using back in action with Dr. Hansen. And relief is, is sooner than you think. You come a long ways, Joe. A two-time Olympian, a World Cup captain, and an NHL All-Star. How'd you get so good, Joe? Hard work and nutrition from Wisconsin potatoes. Wisconsin potatoes. Grandpa, please pass the potatoes. I got this. What? Healthy and delicious Wisconsin potatoes. Save it.
of some of them chocolate-covered cherries I gave you, Freddie? <laughs> no, they're all gone. Oh, for goodness sake. Freddie, Freddie, Freddie. <laughs> Once again, we are at Country Ovens, Forestville, Wisconsin. It's a great destination. Sturgeon Bay is that way, Algoma is that way, and Forestville is right dab in the middle of all the beautiful cherry trees. <laughs> so you got to come and see Mike and the gang here at Country Ovens, countryovens.com. Hey, don't forget your gift boxes. Freddie, yes. we got a gift box in the mail ordered for you. Yeah, yes. I love it. You can't yeah, we went to countryovens.com. We got you the deluxe box. I You're love it. Man. Do you want any product in there? <laughs> no, I just got in the box. Yeah, it's Are you right. thirsty, Freddie? It's about time. Yes, it is. You put me on this side next to the bartender for Freddie is always thirsty, you know? A little spritzer action. Can you Absolutely. go for a little today? So when you come special? to Country Ovens, and when you come to the festival, the th in this case, it's the third Thursday, uh, third Thursday, third Saturday of July, uh, you get your choice here. We get, Merrill, would you like Von Steel or would you like Simon Creek Winery? Uh, let's go with Von Steel for 2000 All righty. Yeah. Von Steel for 2000 <laughs> You got it. You got it. Good stuff. Nice dry wine. We're going to do a Made Spitzer. Made locally in Algoma, Wisconsin. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It is. Right down the road from yeah. here. I'm yeah. going to do a Spitzer Bailey cherry style. You know, you want something nice and light, which is really good in the summertime. You know, you're reducing a little bit on the alcohol. So first of all, <laughs> I'm going to start out with some little, some... Uh, Don't get Fred nervous with that. I know, little dry right. cherries. <laughs> Did you notice mine and Freddie's? <laughs> a big difference there, a big yeah, difference. <laughs> some dry cherries. I'm going to use the Cherry Delight cherry juice. This stuff is great. Oh, okay. this is going to be healthy, I'll tell you that. Oh, oh no, no, yeah, no, no, right, right, right. It's got to it be healthy. healthy. It is healthy, yeah, but you know that. what? This is delicious, too. You know, you do about a 50-50. Oh, gosh, darn. Not for you, we'll go 50 50. We'll cut that down a little <laughs> bit. Cherry That's syrup? A little bit of cherry syrup in there. Go right ahead, sir. A little dab will do you. little dab will do you. They <laughs> want to stir that around just to get the syrup going. Now we're going to add the old wine, sir. Cherry wine, Von Steel. There you go, just for you, Freddy boy. Or the Simon Oh, Creek. look at that. That's it right there. Yeah, that's it. it. <laughs> uh, well, I'm not going to go to 50 50 with him. I lie, that's a big glass here. You sure sure that around. Like. What I want to do, I'll put a little bit of orange juice in there. Good, good for you. Good there for you. you that's go. what I would do, too. There you go, sir. Right. Have we go have it a good hole. Orange juice would be good in there. <laughs> don't spill it. Whatever you I do, don't spill, spill it. it. All right, now you got your drink in hand, Freddie. Take that's, a little sip for the camera. Take a sip for, for the camera. Well, I got to make sure I don't poke my eye no, out. Yeah, that's don't okay. Do that. That's okay. Maybe you'll play better. Yeah, there you go. Countryovens.com. <laughs> Here's a great little idea. How is that? That's a sip. <laughs> you said take a sip. <laughs> sweet potatoes on the grill. We love doing sweet potatoes on the grill. Nothing's finer than, than uh, sweet cherries and sweet potato pie. So here's what I did. I actually took uh, uh, Dork, uh, Dork Counties, which it is, Dork County <laughs> Cherries, Cherry Delight, Country Ovens, Cherry Pie Filling, and it's just loaded with cherries inside of there. And I took a, a, a sweet potato, I cut it in half, and I hollowed it out, and I grilled it up on the grill so it was nice and tender. And it doesn't take very long. And then what we did is we added the cherry pie oh. filling to it. So we added our own little cherry pie, and then we put the hood down and just let it bake a little bit. Now you can garnish them with a little bit of dried blueberries you can find here. You can add a little extra. You can do some of the sprinkles. We'll add a few sprinkles inside on top of there. And that's cherries and almonds, and they Good have job. different flavors like cherries and maple over the top of that. I could add a little bit of coconut over the top of that oh. if you want to. So that's, that's our own little cherry pie, but now we're going to make sweet potato pie. And I actually took the sweet potatoes, and I sliced them in nice big slabs. There again, glistened them with an oil, and I browned them up on the grill. And the sweet potato, the sugar content does not take very long for them to get nice and tender. And, and, and flexible, and that's when they're nice and done. And I took my wonderful cherry pie preserve, I took the cherry preserves rather, and I put a plop of cherry preserves over the top of those sweet potatoes. Now you just go hog wild. You can add a little bit of coconut over the top of each one. You can add some wonderful dried cherries again over the top of each one to give it that little extra flavor, that little extra bite. And we're gonna add some blueberries. A few Whoa, blueberries over all, the top of out. that. I'm going to add some sprinkles over the top of that. He's not done, ladies and no, gentlemen. No, you know why I'm not done? Because I normally do a little honey over the top of everything, but we're going to fresh grade some nutmeg. Do I have time to <laughs> fresh grade some nutmeg, sir? Yeah. I think I do. Sure. I'm going to fresh grade a little nutmeg over the top. That's the nutmeg seed, and I'm grading that over the top of everything here. Getting that just a nice little dusting over the top. Nothing like fresh grated nutmeg. And then to top it off, I normally did honey. Mm -hmm. Cherry syrup. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, cherry syrup. This cherry syrup I put over ice cream. It's the best gosh darn <laughs> stuff you ever have in your life. It is Trust good. me on that one. 
Just a little cherry syrup. Mm mm mm. <laughs> to host everything off. And if that ain't the best desserts in the world, we'll be right back from Country Ovens in Forestville, Wisconsin. Oh, yeah. Take away, Freddie Mayer on the keyboards. <laughs> if you have a comment or suggestion about today's show, contact us at maddogandmerrill.com. And don't forget to friend us on Facebook. Why the big tears, post-playoff syndrome? Your team's not in the game, season's over? No, it's worse than that. Merrill is eating my brew pub lots of matzo pizza. Challenge! With over a half a pound of real Wisconsin mozzarella cheese, it's big, bold, and outrageously delicious for the big game. Relax, Bruce, just relax. Personal foul! You're out of here, Merrill! You can't watch the big game without Brew Pub Pizza. Make your winning game plan Brew Pub Lots of Lots of Pizza. The ingredients for a great time. We dig Wisconsin potatoes. Healthy grown, eco friendly Wisconsin potatoes. Potatoes that are appealing. One medium potato harvests 110 calories. They're high in potassium and sodium free, which is good for your heart. They're also free of fat, gluten, and cholesterol and full of vitamins and minerals. From farm to fork, Wisconsin potatoes provide the most nutrients per penny. Which makes Wisconsin potato growers outstanding in the field. Inflammation and muscle pain can prevent us from activities such as walking, golfing, exercising, and more. Rapid Performance Products provides all natural relief utilizing the super fruit, tart cherries. Rapid Red contains natural antioxidants that help combat the inflammation and pain of our muscles associated with activity. To help the aging maintain their muscle mass, try our Rapid Whey with 12 grams of whey protein isolate. Keep fit and stay active with Rapid Performance products. Mad Dog and Merrill here. Try our to work. I love sun-ripe tomatoes on my burger. Sun-ripe tomato, it's all in there. Man, I love sauerkraut on my sausages. <laughs> sauerkraut, it's in there. <laughs> uh, I love spicy mustard on everything. Spicy mustard? It's in there. It's so sad. I love onions. Onions? It's in there. DeWorks. No more mess. All in one condiment. And now DeWorks with sweet pickle relish. Ask your grocer for Mad Dog and Merrill. Ah, Wisconsin winter sports and a crisp old fashioned sun drop soda. Ah, yeah. Perfect for snowmobiling, skiing, sledding, hockey. Or you know what, Mad Dog, just relaxing on the old eye. You know, Merrill, there may be a legal limit on walleye, perch, or, or bottle bass. But there's no limit on good old-fashioned sun drop soda. Wisconsin Winter Sports. Be safe, drink responsible, drink locally bottled sun drop soda. All right, guys, off the ice. Puck drops in five minutes. It's been reported that Mad Dog and Merrill's signature sauces and spices have been seen around the world. And now, we want to know, where in the world is Mad Dog and Merrill? Take a photo of yourself holding a Mad Dog and Merrill product in front of a sign or interesting landmark. Post the photo to Mad Dog and Merrill's Facebook page and once a month, one lucky fan will win a grillin' set of Mad Dog and Merrill's products. Go to Facebook.com slash Mad Dog and Merrill. Happy grillin'! Well, Mad Dog and Merrill from Country Ovens, Forestville, Wisconsin. Happy grilling, cherry delight! Hey, hey happy delight. grilling, everybody! Well, yeah. Midwest Grillin' is a production of Lashbro Visual Communications. I can't get the cork back in here, so you guys might have to drink this all up this afternoon. Well, the name <laughs> in there. All up. There you be.